well welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Seppi and welcome back to another episode of a diary of a junior doctor I am so happy about the feedback from the last well the first of the episode I'd say that you guys liked it so much and thank you for giving a thumbs up and leaving me comments because it really helps for me to know to create more content like this so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this style of video and leave me comments down below I love reading them I love getting the feedback from you guys so thank you so much it is currently 6 35 in the morning I usually well I say usually it's only been two like this is the second week that I started doing it but um I usually go to the gym by six but I have some wiggle room to go a little bit later so I'm going now I really enjoy getting up earlier in the morning and making my bed and putting my gym clothes and then just going for a workout even if it's for 30 minutes um I feel like it really helps me to start my day positively um I think while I'm doing my drive I will be thinking of some of the things I'm grateful for, I've really listed a couple. So the first one was the fact that I woke up on time to do my workout. The second was how well you guys are responding to um, this video and enjoying the content. Um, Jason, Uncle Dan, I want you guys to follow me around for that. Um, I am currently working for the medical team, so I will be on call for the medical, for the medics. So I will split this into a diagram for you guys. So basically how it works is when you first come into hospital, you are seen by our a &E team. They triage and see what they think um, your issue is. If it is medical, if it is a surgical issue, if it's a psychiatric issue, or if it's something that's resolvable and you can go home. So if you end up needing an admission, you are either admitted on the medical team or the surgical team, or you may need to go to the psychiatric unit somewhere separate um, to be treated there. So once they've decided that you need the admission under the medical team, I will be the doctor who sees you and uh, manages your care further. Um, if you needed admission under the surgical team, then there would still be then there would be a surgical team who would be doing what I'm doing. This is called the take. So we take on the new patients. Um, so there's two kinds of on calls, um, and I wanted to introduce this one to you. Guys. Guys. When I do the other type, I will film it so that you guys can see what that's about. But it's pretty much like um, the same format of my night shift, where the people, are, where the patients are already admitted into hospital, and you are just um, doing jobs for them when their regular team isn't there. So, if, for example, on the weekend. Um, but yeah, I hope that's a good introduction as to what I'm doing. But let's go to the gym now. This gym outfit, by the way, is from Forever Twenty One, and it is so old. Um, literally I think I got it like five, six years ago, maybe five years ago, um, but I love it, I just love this material, it's really stretchy and comfy, um, so if you guys know any other gym brands that do like, really good material, let me know because um, I spend a lot of my money on gym clothes. <laughs> I actually do not look okay, what is this place? Hi! I'm wearing this dress that I got from Zara that you might have seen if you watched my vlog one of 2022 and some Zara shoes and the vest underneath is also Zara and I've just worn some tights underneath it and we are good to go. This is my super simple makeup for the day. It's literally foundation, concealer, bronzer and lip products and a bit of mascara. So um, yeah, not my usual super glam ofs. Um, I like to do like a really subtle natural look for work and yeah, I really like this outfit. This, this is the product code for those of you guys who want to shop this dress. Thousand followers. 
first. My medical reg is showing off those. Even though you're not my reg today. Sure you're just my friend. All... No, I'm saying you have that influence. I didn't. Like a thousand people. <laughs> um, Sorry. So it's lunchtime. I've come to the doctor's mess to eat. I have food that my mum made me, which I actually don't know what's in there. And then I also bought lasagna with fries because I saw it then. I was just like, I'll have a little bit and my friends can share. I've seen two patients so far um, and it is like 12.40. Um, the first one was very complex, which is why it took much longer. And the second one was um, slightly... Um, less complex but still a, a difficult case i would say and that's the difference between being a sho so that's like anything above an f1 and being an f1 when you're an f1 um you not always but you tend to get allocated um cases where we kind of have an idea of what's going on whereas the more senior you get the more complex the case gets or the more unwell the patient gets so yeah that's what i've had so far um but i'm gonna enjoy my food now and see what on earth my mum got me. What are you looking for? There's a Sky Remote here. Oh, Sky <laughs> In between the layers of tissue. I think this is salad. Now I'm glad I got lasagna and fries as well. Do you want to watch that? Lasagna? Yeah. Chicken salad. With broccoli. Whatever advice you can give me today, cope with this. It is 3.40. I have now seen four patients and I'm going to check on another patient in another building but I have to like go through the rain um because there's no like underpass there's no like path that I can go underneath to go um so this is murky London right now for anyone watching who doesn't live in London my feet are actually hurting today my shoes are usually quite comfy but I don't know, I've even worn socks with them. Maybe that's making it worse. I am still running around, as you can imagine. I think my steps get really high when I'm on call. So I am in my car now. The time is. 9.45 so it is home time for me I have finished my encore um, I saw a total of six patients I think and that was mainly because we were well staffed and not too busy um, so that was good and it meant that I kind of got a mini like break between each patient which I'm happy about so I just wanted to do a kind of brief summary of what it was like for me to be on call and what kind of things I do like I said yesterday I saw six different patients um, who were each admitted from the A&E team needing uh, an admission so were asked for a review by the medical team which is me um, so you get to see a full range of problems you can see respiratory endocrinology cardiology um, like neurology any literally any medical specialty that comes through the door is something that you may need to assess as part of the medical team so it's really interesting and being on the take we call it um, really does broaden your knowledge of medicine and helps you to kind of remember certain cases like a case you'll see will stick with you or vice versa a case you've seen on the ward will stand out to you when a patient comes in you're like hmm I've seen this before I know what's going on which is one of the things that happened with the first patient that I saw it was like a case that I'd seen um, during one of my jobs before like it was really interesting to be able to see it come in again through hospital and like have a lot of experience in managing that condition so yeah it's a really good and informative on call um to have it is th uh, 12 and a half hours long uh so yeah you do kind of need to get your meals in before and you do need to if you want to do a workout you might need to do it before because you're not going to be bothered to go to the gym after i don't think and on calls happen i would say quite regularly so i think every other week you have at least two days on call um and then when you're an f2 doctor one in every four weeks you have nights in the medical department this obviously varies from hospital to hospital contract to contract rotor to rotor but that's pretty much what my rotor looks like um so to give you guys a kind of rough idea of how often i will be working these kinds of hours versus my normal hours today is an off day for me so i don't have to go into work but i have so much work to do as many of you may know i have an aesthetics clinic with my sisters 
and I have so much stuff to do. In terms of ordering stuff for the clinic, um, organising rotors for it and um, booking people in and replying to messages etc. So I need to go and do that. Um, so I will bring you guys along with me so you can kind of see that aspect a little bit and let me know what you want to see in the next junior doctor vlog um, and if you want to see some more of like the private work that I do in terms of aesthetics because um, I can definitely bring you along for that. I thought I would show you what my sister randomly got me um, from Selfridges the other day. As per usual, I somehow turned these vlogs into a bit of a shopping haul. But um, basically, I had really wanted these for ages. And um, yeah, I was so shocked when she got it from me because it's so hard to get. And she got it from Selfridges. And to be fair, like we buy a lot of our trainers from the same like salespeople in Selfridges. So sometimes they look out for you and hook you up with, with stuff. So I think this is one of those cases. But it is basically... It's basically these Yeezy foams. So, in Persian culture, we call like the slippers that we like the sand, like the sandals or slippers that we go to the bathroom with "dampoi pedasliki," which means plastic sandals. And this is basically a very cool version of "dampoi pedasliki." Um, I really, really like them. I think they're such a cool color to match. Like, it's basically like having trainers because you can wear them with socks. Um, and they cover your whole foot, but obviously they've got holes in them so you don't want to be wearing them in the rain and uh, you'll want to be wearing them in the summertime, but also you can wear them as like sandals if that makes sense So it's very like diverse you can wear them in summer and in winter and have multiple purposes for it So I actually think they're really really cool shoes I really wanted them when they first came out and they were sold out everywhere So thank you so much my sister for getting them. They are Yeezy brand for anyone who wants to look them up They are the Yeezy foams and you're meant to size up So I'm usually a three and a half four and these are a size five and they fit perfect